Cells of the Immune System Part 2 Recall that in the last video lecture we studied that leukocytes are divided into two groups granulocytes and agranulocytes. We covered granulocytes which are of three types basophil, eosinophil and neutrophil. We also studied mast cell which is similar in function and appearance to basophils. In this video lecture we are going to study agranulocytes. Agranulocytes have one lobe nucleus. They are also known as mononuclear leukocytes. Remember, in case of granulocytes, nucleus is multi-lobed and they are known as polymorphonuclear leukocytes. But here, since nucleus is single lobe, they are known as mononuclear leukocytes. The cytoplasm of agranulocytes appear uniform under light microscope since granules are invisible. A granulocytes are of two types, monocytes and lymphocytes. Monocytes. In Greek, monos means single and site means cell. Monocytes have single, slightly lobed nucleus. The shape of the nucleus resembles kidney or bean shape. Monocytes are largest type of leukocytes. Their cytoplasm contain lysosomes and phagocytic vacuoles. This means monocytes are phagocytic cells. Monocytes circulate in blood. They migrate into tissues where they differentiate into macrophages. Macrophages. In Greek, macro means large and vegan means to eat. They are large white blood cells which eat or engulf microbes. Macrophages are derived from monocytes. When monocytes circulating in the bloodstream migrate into the tissues, they develop and differentiate into macrophages and these macrophages become resident cell in the tissues. Macrophages are resident in almost all tissues. They are relatively long-lived cells. They locate, engulf and destroy microbes by the process known as phagocytosis. Macrophages are of two types, free macrophages and fixed macrophages. Free macrophages are motile. They roam the tissues and gather at the site of infection or inflammation. Whereas fixed macrophages are resident in some tissues and organs of the body and they are given special names. Let us look at few examples of fixed macrophages. In skin, they are known as tissue macrophages. In brain, microglial cells. In lungs, alveolar macrophages. In kidney, mesangial cells. In bones, osteoclasts. And in liver, Cuffer cells. Dendritic cells. The characteristic feature of dendritic cells is their star shaped morphology. In Greek, dendron means tree. This refers to their branched appearance. Dendritic cells are found in most tissues of the body. They are present in skin and mucous membranes. They are a special group of phagocytes. They perform antigen capture and antigen presentation in adaptive immunity. Details of this antigen capture and antigen presentation will be studied in a separate video lecture. Let us now study lymphocytes. In Latin, lympho means lymph and cyte means cell. Lymphocytes are the group of leukocytes which are the main type of cells found in lymph. Hence their name. All lymphocytes arise in bone marrow. Lymphocytes have been divided into two groups based on their morphology. Large and small. Large lymphocytes include natural killer lymphocyte or NK cell. Whereas small lymphocytes include B lymphocyte also known as B cell and T lymphocyte also known as T-cell. 
natural killer lymphocyte abbreviated as nk cell natural killer cells are large lymphocytes they have a distinctive granular cytoplasm they are non phagocytic cell they attack and kill infected or cancerous body cells by secreting toxins onto their surfaces as we said earlier small lymphocyte comprises of b cell and t cell these are the smallest leukocytes and as you can see in the image they have almost no cytoplasm so small lymphocytes contain large round central nucleus surrounded by a thin rim of cytoplasm now what is the difference between b lymphocyte and t lymphocyte actually b and t lymphocytes are distinguished by the surface proteins which are integrated in their cell membrane and some of these proteins acts as antigen receptors in case of b cell they are known as b cell receptor abbreviated as bcr and in case of t cell they are known as t cell receptor abbreviated as tcr b lymphocyte also known as b cell b lymphocytes mature in bone marrow they circulate in blood and disperse into various lymphoid organs where they become activated their cell surface antigen receptors are known as b cell receptors mature activated b cell is called plasma cell and plasma cell produces and secrete antibodies let us say this is a naive b cell naive b cell is a b cell which has not encountered any antigen yet and this is a pathogen so when a naive b cell encounters an antigen it matures into plasma cell and this plasma cell produces antibodies which are specific to that pathogen now at this point we need to understand what antibodies are antibodies are soluble proteins which are secreted by plasma cells they bind to specific antigens and help in destruction and elimination of those antigens from the body antibodies have a basic y shaped structure the arms of this y they represent the antigen binding sites and the stock is known as fc region t lymphocyte or t cell T cell mature in our organ called thymus. Their cell surface antigen receptors are known as T cell receptors. Further details of T lymphocytes will be studied separately in a separate video lecture. Let us now summarize our video lecture. Leukocytes are of two types: granulocytes and acranulocyte. Granulocyte is further of three types: basophils. eosinophils and neutrophils a granulocyte is of two types first one is monocyte which develops and matures into macrophages when migrate into tissues second one is lymphocyte which is further divided into large and small lymphocyte large lymphocyte include nk cell and small lymphocyte include b cell and t cell Also we studied mast cell which is similar in function and appearance to basophil and dendritic cell whose characteristic feature is its star shaped morphology